GTI fans, welcome back to another series of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is Alpha 9 Stable. They released it today, uh, so we're going to do it. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, Medium Planet. That's fine. We're going to do the uh, Alpha 9 Temperate. Let's, what's a seed? Yeah, that looks fine for the seed. Hera, sounds good. But we're going to change these settings. We're going to go in, let's just start with hard. We're going to trim these out a little bit here. The constructor speed, I want fast. And, or we'll do rich and plenty. Uh, okay, that's, that's good enough. It doesn't matter for the rest. Okay. So those, oh, here, I'll, those are my settings. You can take a look at them really quick. You can duplicate them if you want. Okay, so let's, oh, it changed, it changed the name. Okay, well, let's just set it. And let's good, let's go. Let's go, we're diving in. So this is exciting. Uh, they changed some stuff since like right from the last update. It's kind of like they didn't even do do like, like a release candidate or anything. It was just like, boom, here's, I guess this is the release candidate. What they're doing is they're making it all, I think, uh, version 8 point, whatever it was, 8.7 uh, is still available and 7 point, whatever it was, the last stable release of 7 is still available and all you do is go into your Steam account, select the game, right click on it, go to the properties, go to the betas, and then <clears throat> choose which one you want. You can you can select, uh, you could select, you know, current stable branch, which is now Alpha 9.0. Oh, okay, so we see wreckage over here. Let's just head over there. It looks like, it looks like there was water over there too, so wasn't paying attention. That's okay. Stuff to pick here. So we're going to follow the tutorial because they changed it and they want... I know you guys are sick of me doing these things, but it's to give them input because I want to hear input from you guys how you like it and then you guys can go give Elon input so that when you guys are playing it, you like it. Right, so yes, I'm gonna be repeating a lot of stuff multiple times, but now that it's unstable, we're gonna play this through quite a bit, this this run. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna open the PDA, that's F1, and it wants us to, you can find all the necessary information in your mission here, click on PDA log to read the mission log. Uh, we just crash landed, and if we finish this, we get 500 experience points and 10 upgrade points. So it's worth doing. You don't have to deactivate it. You get free upgrade points. Like people, come on. I, I don't know what the issue with doing this is. Like it seems like a no brainer. Uh, we're gonna see if the natural progression of it makes sense. So open tab, that's fine. <clears throat> And then notice the condition you're in at the bottom of your left-hand corner. You need to heat food, da, 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 check your status, select energy bar and eat it. Okay. Now use the hayth pack the same way. Okay. And I think while we're, we're updating the quest, I think we can wander around, select, yeah. So it's just about to go grab stuff and start collecting rocks here. That uh, totally makes sense. <laughs> okay, so let's grab our survival tool and collect a rock. And here, we'll, we'll grab, we'll pick everything. Select rock by right clicking on your tool. And here we go. So it's saying, yeah, yeah, they dropped on the ground. If they do not 
If you don't pick them up, they'll disappear after a while. Harvest. Craft an energy bar or juice. So we got to harvest some, some, I see some over there. Oh, I see some right, oh no, that's a critter. Okay, we want to stay away from critters right off the bat because they're, they, if you get too close to the ones that are, that are around the crash site, they will attack you. But they won't be ultra aggressive and, and like run at you from like miles away like raptors may. I don't know. And the other thing too is the AI. I didn't really get to test much because just too many restarts, too many crashes, too many blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> okay. So craft energy bar juice or juice. Okay. So we could have picked uh, uh, fruit too then. Okay. That's good to know. So we'll craft the energy bar. I think I'll take the energy bar anyway. The, the fruit is good. We can make the juice and heal up from that too, though. So we'll keep, make sure that. Okay. Okay, so it's going to give us some more information here. Yeah, here we go. This is what I was waiting for. So let's hit our map. We're actually facing the wrong direction. We're going to head towards the wreckage because that's where it wants us to go. So about a kilometer over there. Okay. Trying to avoid these critters along the way. We're going to pick what we can without them attacking us. Now they, if we just walk by them, they, they, they kind of take a while to to get the courage up to attack you, it seems. But if you're just standing around with your drone building stuff, they'll come, they'll get the courage up, walk up to you and whap you. So, and if you actually destroy a rock right near them, yeah, they'll whap you too. They'll whap you. By the way, I have weight enabled and um, the starting planet is the only starting planet in the system because I thought that was kind of silly in Alpha 8. I mean, yeah, you can't get around it in in multiplayer. Sure, I mean, fine, that's the way it is. But in single player, like, eh, I'm glad they found a way to do that. It seemed pretty simple. They probably knew how to do it a while ago and they just seemed, they just thought it was probably trivial, so why why even add it in? But I think it's a big thing. I think it actually um, creates better continuity in the game for single player because all of a sudden you're going to a, a planet that has all the stuff that you just went to identically. Like, you know, it's like, uh. So the Titan would be there and all that stuff. I just, I always thought it was a little bit strange that they couldn't figure out just right off the bat how to how to only make one starter planet if you chose one starter planet so kudos to them i added that into the no that's not defense we want rock drill. Yeah, rock drill. um i added that into my sysconfig file for the game uh basically you can look through the the notes and it'll tell you how to do that uh, put it in the first category right at the bottom with the rest of the entries just make sure you use you don't use um, tab to create spaces use like note plus note tab note pad plus plus and you probably can't go wrong start from the previous line hit enter make sure it all lines up correctly pretty simple it worked because I went in uh, I generated a quick game because I wanted to make sure that it was going to work and and I went and looked at, at the sector file on the save and sure enough there was only one sector with the starting uh, flag to it so that was good enough for me. That that probably meant that the rest, that the that there was no other um, 
starting planet that had all the gear on it. Okay, so we got to be careful not to go over our weight limits. We've got 161 right now. Let's build some more energy bars. We can eat some more. Let's let's do 10. Or else they're, they're going to start spoiling. And with weight enabled, I can't, it's not like a it's not a race to get as much mats as you possibly can before nightfall or anything, because that really doesn't matter anymore. Uh, spiders are already out. We're, we're probably going to run into some soon. That we're going to have to, and that's why I'm walking. You can't, you can't run around everywhere anymore because you're going to be out of stamina when you get in trouble. So you got to, you got to play it smart now. You can't just, you can't just brute force this game right off the bat when you have weight enabled. And I, I, I like that. I like that feature of it. Okay, so we're not going to grab wood right now. That's going to kind of slow us down, I think. Um, yeah, we, we need level three. And then we're going to be golden because we can make a... a mobile constructor we can start drilling the only problem is we're only going to be able to carry about 75 ore on us at a time and you know that's just that's just the way it is uh, let's let's get defense mode ready here I just I want to check out this if we get close enough, we can look in the cargo here and okay. Oh, I had it there. Nice. Let's let's take the, all of that. That's excellent. That's good starting equipment. Some long-lasting food and uh, some water. The only problem is it all weighs. It all takes, see, we're already up to 200 with just a, a little bit, some small stacks. Some small stacks and we're at, we're, 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 we're getting some weight on us. <clears throat> okay, we'll get to the wreckage here. We're going to need silicone. We need, ooh, uh, temperature, temperature. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That could be an issue. That could be an issue. We might have to get out of this little spot here. Oh, there we go. We're okay. We're okay. I just want to get as much picked as possible. Right in the vicinity before I start heading into danger, right? Like I don't know. It's easier it's easier to see when there's no trees around if you got enemies around you, but when you're when you got like trees everywhere and it's thick undergrowth and it's Okay, how are we doing on the uh, levels thing? Grab that stuff out of there. Oh, we're almost level three. We're golden. We're, we're happening. We're happening. We're happening. At 51 XP at each, but we're happening. Uh, oh, we got half, half of our volume. 28, 15. That's okay. That's okay. Let's grab, let's grab some more of this. They can just go away. They can be mean. Those little those little crickets can actually be pretty mean. I'm definitely not taking one on right now. Okay, so we're making our way. 
making our way. We got to be careful for spiders. Look for spiders. Look for spiders. Look for spiders. Look for silicone too. Now let's let's eat some. Uh, and you know what we should be doing? Let's make some juice out of the berries that can heal us. And then we'll continue with the crafting of the bars, which we can eat right now. Some more. Oh, oh, oh. Just sounds like they're so close. Okay. Uh, let's continue on here. The wreckage is just right over there. I don't see any spiders. Doesn't mean there aren't any. Okay, let's grab some of the stone. We actually, uh, we're gonna need stone and wood. We're gonna need stone and wood. But I kind of like collecting that after I get the constructor up because the constructor makes for a really good portable uh, cargo container that can process stuff and build stuff, so it's it's handy. Oh, there's silicone. There we go. There we go in the desert here. Nice. Oh yeah, we're getting all, look at all the silicone around. Oh wow, this is, this is fantastic. Fantastic. Oh yeah, look at all in the desert. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna do okay here. Uh, we're gonna be able to definitely get uh, drill up and running and stuff. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, what's our weight getting up to? Uh, 14, so we could do with some more silicone. We could do, we'll take one more of these copper and then try and get some more uh, silicone everywhere, actually. That's pretty good. I like that, nice. This looks like a pretty decent spot, really. I mean, other than not being around um, any water. That could be a bit of an issue. Okay, usually, usually there's spiders around here. Uh, let's see them. Let's let's drone it up. If they're gonna frickin' be sneaky. We're gonna be sneaky too. All right, all right. Okay, it looks clear. I see silicone everywhere. I see silicone rock, rocks just everywhere. Loot items. Awesome. Let's do it. And, oh, 501. We can't pick up anymore. Crap. Let's eat one of these. Uh, we have juice that can heal us, right? So let's do that. Is that going to... No. Is that... We can't even, oh, that doesn't count towards our, oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Didn't know that. So if we, if we process stuff right now, will it actually count towards our weight? It seems to, let's try that again. Yeah, it's not pulling the volume down. Okay. Unless unless it's just not updating. <laughs> uh, oh, it was not updating. See that? Yeah. I, okay. So. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, that's interesting. Level two. So we need to level. We need to level. We need to go pick stuff. Plants don't seem to weigh that much, so let's let's go do that. We're so close. 
we'll hit level three, we'll get the constructor, we'll get that down, we'll get a drill made. We'll follow what it wants to do. Get some buds over here. Inventory full. Crap. Okay, so let's go use the um, wreckage then to put stuff back into the personal cargo, right? Makes sense. We can leverage its storage potential. I don't know what how much it can hold. Probably not much, but anything at this point. Volume zero. Yeah, you can't put stuff back. And I gotta throw that away. Crap. Can we put it here? No. Can we put it there? What can I do with that? Can I go like this? Can I go like this? Yeah, throw it on the ground. Uh, that really sucks. Can we make anything else? O2. Ooh, that'll, that'll reduce our weight quite a bit, right? Oh, but then it'll take weight. But then we can put it on the ground and it won't go away. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying. We could, uh, we could put our survival tent down. There we go. There we go. Let's do that. <laughs> Jeez, jeez, Louise, everything's so heavy. Okay, so we can pick a bit. How much is, does this stuff weigh? Half. Yeah, we don't need much though, right? Like we don't need, we don't need to pick much. Couple things, couple things. And we'll hit level three. eggs. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll pick things that don't weigh anything. Although I think these weigh because they wouldn't let us pick it. It is now. Plant protein. Yeah. There's some more over here. And should we make food out of that then? I think we should. Let's just run. Make this a little quicker. There we go, level three. Okay, so we can either head back. Uh, yeah, because I want to grab my tent. We'll head back. And we'll just do it really quick here because we can grab this if we are quick enough. So let's do this. We're going to unlock the misc, I think. Yep. Constructor. We'll do the heater cooler. Uh, weapons. We're going to do the shotgun. I don't think we can do anything with that. And then we're going to do the base. Cargo box. No, I think we need... Yeah, actually we will. But we're also going to need hover vessel stuff too. So, so let's hold off on the rest. Let's just um, let's just build that. So we're gonna put this on us, and then build that. And we might as well get that going too, because we are gonna need it. It's gonna get cold and hot. And then we can put stuff in it and craft and we can just kind of temporarily use this looks like um, we're kind of in the middle of everything right here this looks like a good spot to throw it down and go mine and I mean we could we could do a temporary we I think it wants us to make an HV anyway so I think we could use this area and build an HV using our constructors so that's going to be the plan. We're just waiting for it to build here. Okay, excellent. So let's start on the next one.
And we're going to put this down. Uh, can we put it down actually in here? That's cool. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, now we can dump everything into it. So that's really awesome. Anything we don't need that's going to... Excellent. Don't need the flashlight yet. Okay, so we got our energy bars. We've got some herbal leaves. Let's get the herbal leaves down here. Uh, we're not going to be able to do much with the eggs, unfortunately. We'll keep the canned meat and canned stuff. We'll keep our food down here. So we unlocked a bunch of stuff, but I, what I really want is a motorcycle right now and a we've got so, oh yeah we can do this easily so i'm going to do a shotgun i'm going to do some some shells cuz the wildlife is getting to me here and then we're going to be doing a drill Right? Yeah, craft drilled, craft biofuel. I know I'm doing the shotgun first. We should, we're going out of sequence, I think. But I just... These things are going to come in after me pretty quick here, and I just want to be ready. Uh, biofuel, biofuel. There we go. We don't need 10, but we don't need 50 billion either. We'll need some. Is he trying to get in here? I might have to go out and deal with him as soon as we get our shotgun here. Let's get our light going. It's starting to get a little dark. Okay. Nice. We've got our shotgun. we got 60 shells. So... Let's do this. Get this loaded. Okay, I'm going to go into first person. And... Although it's harder to see. Not as much peripheral. Where are you? It's like, oh, I saw him. He's in there. Is he trying to get to me? Is that what he's doing? Yeah, he's doing the dance. The little... The aggro dance. You know what, buddy? I can't get over there. Why didn't it? What? I thought I loaded it. Nice! 163 XP. That sucks. Not much. Okay, but we are getting XP for... Completing the each chunk, each large chunk of the tutorial quests. Uh, faster exploration. Craft a motorbike. Okay. Absolutely. We are going to craft a motorbike. That makes sense to me right now. That is absolutely what I want to do. So we're going to do that. See, this is making a, a little bit more sense right now. The 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 sequencing was a little bit off in experimental on what you would really want to be making. But this makes sense. Although I, I, I went out of sequence and made the shotgun just because it's getting night now and we're in the forest and raptors are going to come in after us here. So that's why I want to get this motorbike crafted. You know what? Let's stop that. Let's stop that. We don't need all that. Let's grab that. We're going to grab that. Put that down in our bar. What are we at? 22. And that's going to weigh 70. Okay. That weighs two and a half. Okay. 
So we gotta we gotta mind our weight all the time, right? That's the thing. So we gotta craft the motorbike. Come on. And it's getting there. I think once we get the craft, the motorbike crafted, I'm going to call it an episode because that's a good kind of a milestone is getting all your gear together with a, um, with a motorbike, a drill, some biofuel, you have some food and you're, you're ready to kind of go exploring and you got a gun. Although they should, it's probably going to say build a gun after or it should. I think it should tell you to build a gun. That's what I think it should do. It should have done that before craft motorbike. So, okay, we made that. That's excellent. We'll put that down here. And we can just move this down here. Uh, craft a weapon, craft detector now. Okay, so you know what? That's fine. Um, I just went out of sequence. So what I'm going to do, it should allow me to at least one time do the craft weapon and finish that yeah it can even it'll even let me do that but you know what we'll make the detector anyway because i'm pretty sure it's just a generic tool that anyone can make regardless if they take it or not it's already unlocked it comes pre-unlocked and this should finish off this little chunk Come on. There we go. Uh, so, we will grab that. And how much does that weigh? It only has mass, so it just takes up a spot. But it doesn't take up any volume. Okay, good. Good. The volume is worse than anything else right now for me. Because that's 64. I can't even come close to filling up my inventory with just items. Not even close. The volume crushes that. Unless I'm out doing something that I'm grabbing stuff that has no volume, which is very few things, really. Okay, so what's it want us to do now? We want to explore an alien signal. Okay, so, so wow, it's sending us off to do something really potentially dangerous. Well, we got a gun and we got ammo. Uh... I don't really like it because if we run into drone, we're going to have major problem. We've got a bit of healing. Okay, well, that's next episode. Pretty exciting. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.